know has diabetes, you need to watch this short video. Diabetes and electrosensitivity. There are two main types of diabetes. Type 1 diabetes, which is also called childhood onset, accounts for 5 to 10 percent of all diabetics and is largely genetic. Type 2 diabetes, also known as adult onset, accounts for 90 to 95 percent of all diabetes and is attributed largely to lifestyle and obesity. I would like to suggest there is another type of diabetes, type 3 diabetes, which has an environmental trigger that causes blood sugar to spike or fall. One of these triggers is dirty electricity. The information presented in this video is from a peer-reviewed publication. Dirty electricity elevates blood sugar among electrically sensitive diabetics and may explain brittle diabetes. In this document, I present the results from four case studies. The first example is a 54-year-old male who was diagnosed as pre-diabetic. What is interesting about this case is that his blood sugar remains normal when he's fishing or out in the woods, but when he's in a built-up area near power lines or working on his computer, his blood sugar increases. As part of this study, case number one measured the amount of dirty electricity in his home, shown in blue, and his blood sugar, first thing in the morning, shown in pink, for nine days. His blood sugar should be at or near the red line. Instead, what we find is that the higher the levels of dirty electricity in his home, the higher his blood sugar. On one of the days, he started working on his computer before he measured his blood sugar, which was higher than normal. He moved away from the computer, waited 10 minutes, and measured his blood sugar again. This time, his blood sugar dropped by 20 milligrams per deciliter, or 1.2 millimoles per liter, in just 10 minutes. This man is electrically sensitive and is a type 3 diabetic. If your blood sugar changes in different environments, you might have type 3 diabetes. Case number 2 is a 57-year-old female with type 2 diabetes. She uses exercise to control her blood sugar, shown here in pink. Her exercise of choice is walking. When she goes for a 20-minute walk at the mall after hours, her blood sugar drops significantly. The gray bar shows her blood sugar before walking in the green bar after a 20-minute walk on day 1, day 2, and day 3. Sometimes she walks on her treadmill. This time, her blood sugar increases, as shown in blue, after a 20-minute workout on day 1, day 2, and day 3. This woman is responding to the dirty electricity generated by her treadmill. She is a type 3 diabetic. If your blood sugar increases when you use electric exercise equipment, you may have type 3 diabetes. The treadmill test may be a good diagnostic for electrosensitivity among diabetics. Doctors need to be made aware of this so they can prescribe appropriate exercise for their patients. Case number three is an 80-year-old female with type 1 diabetes who takes insulin twice a day. Like most people, her home has dirty electricity, which was reduced with special filters. She measured her blood sugar first thing in the morning for one week before filters were installed, and then for one week with filters. The filters significantly reduced the dirty electricity in her home by 98%. Her blood sugar during this period dropped by 33%, and the amount of insulin she required was reduced by 75%. This woman is electrically sensitive. If you reduce your exposure to dirty electricity and require less medication to regulate your blood sugar, you may have type 3 diabetes. The fourth and last case is a 12-year-old male who had elevated blood sugar and was rushed to hospital on December 30, 2002. His blood sugar was well above acceptable range. This graph shows the amount of insulin he took in blue and his daily blood sugar in pink. While in the hospital, he was given insulin, but his blood sugar continued to climb. On January 1st, his blood sugar began to drop and he was allowed to go home. As he increased his insulin injections and his blood sugar continued to drop, by May 9th, he had reached the acceptable range and his blood sugar was beginning to stabilize at 77 units uh, per day. During this period, he took 12 sugar pills. On January 14th, filters were installed in his home to reduce the dirty electricity. 
The very next day his blood sugar began to drop to the lower part of the acceptable range. His parents reduced his insulin injections and his blood sugar stabilized at 37 units of insulin, about half of what he was taking a few days earlier. During this period he consumed 125 sugar pills. Some doctors will tell you this is normal for those who are first diagnosed with diabetes. They call it the honeymoon period. However, in the same household, a younger sister, who had lived with diabetes since the age of three months, also had to make downward adjustments to her insulin when the power quality in their home was improved. This young man and his sister are both electrically sensitive and are both type 1 and type 3 diabetics. Do you have type 3 diabetes? Does your blood sugar increase after use, using electronic exercise equipment? Does your blood sugar suddenly spike or fall for no obvious reason? Does your blood sugar change in different environments? Do you have difficulty regulating your blood sugar and has anyone ever told you that you have brittle diabetes? If you answered yes to any of these questions, you have type 3 diabetes. So we may well have three types of diabetes, one that is mostly genetic, another controlled by lifestyle, and a third influenced by the environment. What can you do if you have type 3 diabetes? You can test your environment for electromagnetic pollution. You can minimize your exposure to electronic equipment. And you can share this information with your doctor and others who have diabetes. For more information, visit the Electrosensitive Society or magdahavis.com. Please share this information with those who have diabetes and with their doctors. We need to know what the environmental triggers are and what percentage of diabetics react to these triggers. Thank you.